What is going on, people? Welcome back. Johnny here, and we are playing some Rim Hammer of the End Times. Rocking the dwarves here. We need to find a spot to build the elaborate dwarven hold. The image I made for the hold door is 5x3, so let's start planning that. We have 10 meals, so we're sitting all right in that regard for the minute. We have rice mostly in the ground. We have stone root in the ground. We have to get some research going so we can do something with that stone root. And we need to see if we have any carcasses we can leverage. Area revealed. That's just going to be a little dead space down there. Nobody's injured. More areas revealed. I guess we'll go check these out. More area. Oh, more and more area. So let's just continue the mining. So one, two, three, four, five. I want to find a nice flat spot. Let's get those hauled. Those hauled. This mountain just keeps on going. We'll clear all this out later on once we get a bunch of dwarves. Alright, beautiful. So now, let's plan our hold. For now, it's going to be really simple. We need to go back. We need bedrooms. We need... Somewhere to put stuff somewhere to hang out somewhere to cook so at some point this is going to be bigger so let's plan on that so we want like this sweet entrance like when you come in the hold it should be impressive like that boom and then for now we'll mine back there let's just use a planning tool and then off of this, we're gonna want our bedrooms to be six by six. And nobody wants to be near the entrance as well. So let's see if we're if we can make it at least two back. So we could do bedrooms on this side. Like that. I want all these passageways to be two by two as well. So let's run that down. This is a proper dwarven hold. There's not going to be any dinky passageways. And then same thing on this side. I'm really hoping we get a sweet slayer. And I mean, we could pretty much use anybody at this point. So that'll be like where the bedrooms are. We can put more out this way. And then on this side, I guess this grand hall can kind of be our hangout area too. It's going to be plenty big. So we'll have something coming off here. We need a place to cook and a place to store crap. And then later on, so this can be where we store stuff. We'll have a couple entrances there. And then later on we'll have a workshop probably over here. Don't want to put our like in the winter, we want to be the vent where we keep our food to the outside. So maybe we use this for food and storage and stuff for the meantime. I'm going to plan this and I'll come back to you. Okay, so this will be food storage and it will get vented to the outside. So we can leverage the freezing temperatures outside come winter time. We'll have cooking and we'll have butchering separate. This will be a big hangout wreck area. So let's let them get going on that. For now, that should be sufficient. What do we find? It's just a different kind of rock. We need to get somebody moving those out of the way. I think we're going to do these too wide straight away. People don't like being contained, and then we can put nice torches in the way. Alright, that gives them all something to do for the minute. Now the problem is, with everybody mining, there's not much going on otherwise. We are going to want a torch in there. I'm going to wait till they get this intersection done. I like to put the torches at the intersection. We should have plenty of wood. It looks like we do. Oh, 
How are we doing for stone block? We still have some sandstone. So let's do some sandstone doors here as well. And let's get all this crap hauled. Hauled you. Work on that torch so we can have some light. Everybody's not so crabby. It's hot as all crap in here. Somebody needs to be set to clean, man. That'll improve moods in here. I could manually do it, but what's your mind? You're an 11. You're a 6. You're a 5. So you clean on a 1. That should get something happening. Now, we also want somebody to construct things when we tell them to construct. You're a 9. You're both 9s. There shouldn't be a lot of construction, so we should be able to keep that tone down. And I think you're going to be a hauler as well. So let's jack these up. One more time. So your priority is cleaning, and then you'll haul, which is good because we're going to have a ton of stone blocks. And then if you're not doing that, you'll construct and then craft. It's perfect. these moved our zone is not full we can eh, we're gonna leave that chunk there for now once we get some research going so we don't have anywhere planned to do research but for now the hanging out room can be the research room we'll move things later on oh no <laughs> oh man gold verdammt all right well Hopefully we have a plant cutter here. I'll set everybody to plant cut at a one. Turn the mining down momentarily. Till our blight all gets removed. We got people laying in the dirt, looking at the sunshine, clouds going by, when they should be cutting these damn plants out. I can see it spreading as I watch. It's going to be a difficult winter. We might have to send everybody out to do some hunting. The problem is we can't really get the meat to keep. Early game's difficult. Oh jeez, it just spreads like crazy. Uh, dunk. That one. I saw some more down here as well. Alright. Are we going to get through that? Well, good thing that goat's not eating our plants. That one, that one, that one. These guys aren't good, but they don't need to be. They just have to cut out all the dead plants. That one. I might expand this zone a bit. There's one. There's another. We might actually get them all done here. Alright, I think we got it. So some more rice is going to be in order. Now we have a mad muffalo, but can't really do anything to us so that's okay hopefully we get some visitors and end up killing that dude for us let's hold these open for now all right well the plants will all go back in the ground we might as well expand this as well while we're at it it's going to keep through the winter that'll be great blight solve muffalo sort of an issue sort of not so there's a dead raccoon there there's all kinds of food out here, actually. Anything else? We're going to have to deal with that muffalo is the problem. I want everybody to come with for this, because it's going to be nasty. We have to deal with a jerk muffalo. He's going to provide a lot of food, though. So there is that. Don't open those doors yet. All right. Over here. You get up there and... Uh-oh. This could only end poorly, right? Wham! You! Give him the business! Nice work, boys. Get that guy hauled with priority. Nobody gets to go back. 
about hauling a, a dead animal of some type. <laughs> Alright. Nobody even got hurt. That's how dwarves team up. Deal with these buggers. And there's been no progress on the cleaning or on the hold itself. But we'll get there. I'm going to try and leave a bunch of space here. And back here too. We should have built down here, but... Sad wander, crag. Son of a... <laughs> Alright. History, sad wander, unsightly environment. Well, dude, you're outside, partner. What, what, what am I to do with this? Well, Fanris will get on the food sitch when he wakes up. We have all these bros that can be slaughtered up. He and our plants aren't going to go on the ground until Craig comes back to us. Fantastic. All right, Elman's wake. Should go haul some animals in. We have lightning, but it's also raining, so that's okay. Fanris, we need you to get up and start making some food, partner. It's carrying some berries about yet. Maybe we can build a roof over this. Drop these on the floor and drop those on the floor as well. Hmm, I guess I'll let them take the food inside. If there's somewhere to put it. This can be moved. Priority. Yeah, just chill out, partner. Do whatever you want, I guess. Once we get the bedrooms established, people will cheer up. Eh, whatever. It's raining, dude. <laughs> But at least something's happening. No storage space. There's an issue. Boom. Nah, he took the wrong damn thing in there. <laughs> he was actually holding that in his pocket or something. More fire, but whatever. And no one's building their roof here. Not assigned to constructing. Well, it stopped raining. I guess we'll let it go. Maybe Craig will come back to us eventually. <laughs> and we're going to get him to butcher next. Let's get all that done. Another five. Six meals? Nice. Maybe seven. Not doing bad out of that. We should be set on meals for a little while. Well, then we could get Craig to come back. That'd be nice. Guess we can hold both of these open. No one's come through that one. <laughs> All right, they're almost done with the mining I set up. So let's start working on the bedrooms. We'll put the crabbiest guys in the bedrooms first. Hopefully they couple up, because that always makes for some real awesome happiness as well. We have a raid on. Tribes people. It looks like they're going to chill out for a while. We don't have Crag, who's our fighter. We do have a big fire burning over here. That's a bit of an issue. They're going to bash those doors down with little effort. And we're going to have to home zone all this to get this fire put out. I think we'll just home zone everything. At some point, we'll have this whole area tidy and nice looking. There's gold. I did add a rack so that if you have a little chunk of gold and you set it in an open spot, the dwarves will just sit and admire it. Warhammer dwarves were notoriously greedy. Can somebody else get up and put out fire? Yes, thank you. Appreciate the effort, boys. Maybe get that tree. That's... That's going to be useful. Could leverage some heat off this come winter. Crag's done. And maybe just go to sleep then, dude. Rather than <laughs> catch on fire and die. Mm, I tell you. Oh, shit. Here they come. Everybody over here. <laughs> They're in the hold. Somehow they made it into the mountain. That means they bashed their door out. They bash both of them out? Son of a bee. Well, that really sucks. Structure, sandstone doors. We need to get some proper dwarven doors out there. Alright, yeah, you start shooting. You go there. 
You go there. Craig's gonna fall over. Alright, good. That dude's cooked. Alright, let's put a spot for these where the bear will just eat them. We can... What is that? Is that water? This is like bear food. It's zone back here. So let's grab this. I want to copy the settings here. That guy's had enough. He knows what happened to his bro. And then, oh, there's a structure there. And then this zone can just go by. And you guys can go back to putting out fires. Craig, why don't you go to bed? I can't make him go to bed. At least he's going to be on a catharsis. So if he doesn't catch on fire, we should be just fine. Be nice if... Now there's a club. Oh, that's in great shape, too. Oh, he left some ambrosia for us as well. Craig's done. He's had enough. That's okay, though. We'll let him sleep there. There's no fire. Gonna burn him up. If the fire gets to our plants, we're gonna have a real problem. I have plenty of meals for a bit. This stuff can be moved, but there's nowhere to put it, probably. All the junk you get, I tell ya. Alright, Craig, you can go to bed now, partner. Nope, he's hungry. He's like, dude, I'm gonna eat first, then I'll go to bed. No, nope, he's actually gonna work for a bit. That guy's a real machine, man. Bio. Needs. Definitely tired. Alright, now he's off to bed. Okay, what do we got no storage space on? That. Indeed. Had enough of this already. Let's do that. <laughs> and we're working on the bedrooms. No one's doing the hauling. We had lost a guy for a while, so what do you expect? Could probably use more steel. What are we at? 638. We're doing decent. Alright, that guy got moved. The bear should eat him. Some people passing by. A couple of dudes. Nice, luxurious beards. There's a dead rabbit. We're not coming all the way out here for a dead rabbit, though. Our doors never got rebuilt, but hopefully Craig gets on top of that before too long. And Fanris is cleaning... This is the downside to that. Fanris. I don't know why he won't clean in here. Are you telling me this is clean? It says rock rubble. Maybe it's not home zone. There's your issue. There we go. Business. Hopefully these doors get rebuilt. Wouldn't be bad to lure some animals into the middle. I wish our goats would reproduce. I thought... Let's see. One of them was pregnant at some point. Beowulf. Beowulf is pregnant, so we should probably keep her alive. We can get a goat farm going if we could get more females. Where are you headed? You're going to go build those doors. That's great. You're doing some cleaning. That's great. Everybody's off to bed again. Craig. Craig's just dedicated, man. Here's the problem with stone doors. You just work on them forever. Needs. Eh, it's feeling alright. I mean, he's a little hungry. Need warm clothes. Really? 70 blended degrees. Those doors didn't stop anybody. But, <laughs> next time we'll get to them. Alright, so, things did get cleaned in here. So let's home zone the rest of this as well. I'm going to just home zone the crap out of this because we're going to have a hold back in here. We can home zone this so it gets cleaned as well. And the muffalo meat rotted away, but that's okay. We have meals for the minute. Half our trees burnt down. That's not cool. Alright, we almost have one bedroom. <clears throat> And that will make a huge improvement in the mood. We have 37 blocks only. Whoever's supposed to be making blocks is giving up the fight on that. 
but the plants are going in the ground and that's important. Temperatures, temperatures always stay pretty cool in the mountain because there's nothing to hose it up, I guess. Where are you headed? Cleaning, okay. <laughs> I'll make you haul some blocks. So who's our crafter? It was Fanris. Alright, let's get these and this. Do some cleaning. Make a copy of that door. Ooh, something went wrong. Could not find a siege spot. Yeah, that makes sense because of the map. Another bloody raid, man. Alright, we're not going to let our doors get destroyed this time. Everybody out here. All we got to do is kill one of these jerks. So let's go... Well, let's make sure everybody arrives. Alright, so you... You're the dude. You go there. You go there. Can't really see him yet. We're going to creep on him. Yep, oh, here they come. Good. You go there. You go there. You. Attack. Wham. Down he goes. Alright, we'll just forbid all this. As you were, boys. Doors safe. Briel. Brill. Out of here. Okay, perfect. We almost have one freaking bedroom. <laughs> can really use more dwarves, but the problem is we're not going to have a lot of food, so there is that. Might just keep expanding this zone. Eventually, we'll get some rice. Some of it's getting close, so that's good. Hey, a war merchant has arrived. Very nice. Craig, are you a talker? You are not. Alright, someone's going to have to come talk to this guy. Here's a downside of this map. It's a hassle to do anything. You can, with the settings, the mod options, you can remove this inside zone. Which maybe I should have done, but whatever. Alright, we got some junk we don't want. A steel knife, wooden club, steel club. Our bear. They have pemmican, herbal meds. Let's get rid of that ambrosia. They don't want to buy anything else off us. They have some awesome dwarven helmets, which we... Look at this, 26000 It's poor, and it's $26,000. That's insane. It's made out of gold. If they had any Ibex, I'd, a female, I'd buy it. Oh, they have dwarven crossbows, man. Normal is a masterwork for 527 There's a fine dwarven crossbow for 309 We had two shooters. I think we'll hold off. All right, that's probably good. That's what it's going to be. Where's my guy? Alright, good. You're bringing it back. Alright, that's it. Craig is stargazing. <laughs> Instead of doing the planting like Craig should be. The bear is hanging out inside. Everybody's asleep. No sooner do I say that than Elden jumps up. But it looks like it is break time once again, people. Or oh, a door got built. Nice. Nowhere to put the chunks. Indeed. There you go. So next time, we'll get the bedroom sorted and get our stuff moved in there and we'll carry on with the building of the hold. <clears throat> Hopefully, once this bedroom, these bedrooms get done, the moods will improve. Uh-oh. We're out of food as well. So we'll have to figure that out. <gasps> Look, we got critters in here. Man, if there's a male and a female, there's not. That sucks. Either way, we'll slaughter them. They look delicious. This guy is going to be a bit of a problem. Maybe we hold these doors open so we can get critters coming in. It's not a bad play, except when there's a raid, we can never get out there fast enough to close it. So there's that. But for now, thanks for watching. Comments are appreciated. Feedback on the mod. Feedback on the map. What do you think? If you go without this, you just have to get to the research of planter growing then you can build a bunch of planter boxes and do stone root inside but that's going to take forever 
and you might starve. So, if you think I should add more food to the starting scenario, that'd be a good comment. It was a little rough, but we got through just fine. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.